right coders. Now we're going back to conditionals. I want to give you a little primer on how we do this, make more decisions in Scratch, and how real programmers use it. If you go to a lot of these programs in Scratch, you'll see that the more complicated ones use a lot of decisions to make their programs. They have to make a lot of decisions in the background. We have a couple of functions that we'll use regularly here. We have the if something then something like in the examples we used in code.org if there is nectar then get nectar and we also have a an else if then else statement else is something we use commonly in programming so that would be if there's nectar then get nectar else say uh, something else oh there's no nectar so <laughs> those are two commonly frequent decision makers boolean statements if you remember our last video we did to make decisions in programming. So let's do an example. So when this clicked, the mouse, I'm sorry, the cat is going to ask you a question. He is going to say, no, what's your name? Let's have him say, do you like me? And we will use our if then else statement. Now from our operators, we'll have to do something if we'll have to drag in the equals statement here. So if if the answer is yes, so it's only going to accept yes. If you put Y in, or if you put no in, or something else, it's not going to do this. It only will do this if the answer to the question is yes. So what we'll do is, if it's yes, then he'll say something. What should he say? We'll have him say, I like you too. Otherwise, what should we have him say? We'll have him say, because assuming if he didn't say yes, you must have said no or something else, right? Or say, go away. And he can say in response, that's not very friendly. So let's try it. Do you like me? And you see now a block opens down here. And I'll say, yes. And it says, I like you too. Let's, oh, I could try it again. Do you like me? And I will say, no way. And it will say, that's not very friendly. But you see also, because of the, the way I phrased it, only it only accepts yes. If, do you, if I said like me, I say, I sure do it would say that's not very friendly because it would only accept yes to say I like you too. So it shows you how complicated programming can be because in the background you might have to say give a lot of different, different options to accept things. Uh, so these are boolean shapes, these blue shapes. You can, is the mouse down? Is the color touching something. These are all decision shapes. Is it touching something? These are all kinds of things. It's going to make a true or, f true or false decision. If it's touching this color or touching this object, if the color is black, this, if the mouse is being pressed down, then do this. So anything that's this hexagon shape is a boolean that you could put in here. And you don't have to have this operator in there to equal something else. Uh, you can just have if the mouse is pressed down, for example, could fit in there. See how it fits in there? We haven't gone over a lot of these math things, but you could also make a lot of math operator decisions. Okay, so that's all we need to know about uh, that for now.
you can obviously think of a lot of applications for this and this is just a simpler way that you don't only have to make one decision at a time the if-then statement obviously so we'll be using this in future programs a lot so get used to using this and start trying it out in your own programs